we forgot to mention in the news, so I'm creating a little vlog here to put in front. I am so excited to share uh, on March 15th, we are having a very special video coming out. Very. And I want you to see it. It's going to come out of nowhere, but I want to sh as many people to see it as possible because I think it's freaking awesome. It's a must-see. It's basically <laughs> me and other Joe's, Alex behind the scenes, but me and other Joe go on a... Adventure. Experience. Yeah, an, an epic adventure. <laughs> an epic adventure. And it is long. It is a, oh, you, I mean, I could call it the Angry Joe Show film, basically. So you're getting essentially an Angry Joe Show movie, in my opinion, on March 15th. We can't say much about it, but we want you to be excited and to know uh, that there's going to be a very special Angry Joe experience on March 15th. So I want to hype it up here. Get your treats ready. Get mm -hmm. your popcorn ready. Get your <laughs> everything ready because it's good. It's it's hilarious. Me and Joe have seen it. I, I've edited it, obviously, uh, and it is a lot of fun, and we cannot wait to see your reactions to it. So we forgot to, you know, hype it up in the actual yeah. news, so we'll just record this and stick it in front, and we just got word that it can come up March 15th. So uh, be ready on Friday, and thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the video. Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the first of two videos we got for you today. But first, a word from our sponsors. Hey guys, you know by now who we use to protect our online data and get access to all of the content that we deserve. What is it? It's Surfshark VPN, and with things like alternative ID, which you can use to put out not your real information in all of those uh, on the websites that want your email, your name, your address. Get it wiped uh, out. A Spam. no logs policy, money back guarantee. It's got everything. Why do we use Surfshark? It's the greatest deal. Joe's about to tell you why. It's one of the few services that actually lets you share with your friends and family on unlimited devices. So device. many services are being stingy, but <laughs> Surfshark, no. Friends and family, guys, use our promotional deal, and you're going to get up to three free months. Go to surfshark.deal slash angryjoeshow and grab the service now. It is an awesome deal, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Check it out. Guys, it's time to protect your data. Click those links down below. I know you need a VPN, and this one protect lets you share yourself. with everyone that you know, friends and family. So it's a really great deal. Yep. Okay, uh, AJS News. Uh, we're working on Skull and Bones Angry Review, hopefully out this week. Uh, and then we can get, uh, we can get uh, you know, we're a little behind on, on the angry reviews because these things take a little extra time. But it's you. history, though. It is history. It's our first 4 a just, game we've ever Thank you, this. fans, for <laughs> allowing us to release reviews a month after, which is usually how long it takes to make the epic length ones. So thank you very much. Uh, we'll get Skull and Bones out of the way, and then we can move on to hopefully some good games that come out yes. this year. It would be a terrible year if it's nothing but garbage <laughs> over and over so we'll see what's next um okay let's get to uh alex who tells us uh, what the heck is going on in gaming news you mentioned the magic word of today which is garbage mm. uh <laughs> speaking of garbage watchdogs remember that series uh Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I remember Watch Dogs. Why are we talking about it? Yeah, uh, so Scan the building, Ubisoft push a button. knows when to strike. Like when the iron is hot, right? It's, it's perfect time to make a Watch Dogs movie. Oh, you want to go make a go, go watch well, a Watch Dogs movie? I want to watch somebody <laughs> smash cars together at a light. That's that's probably what they think is the hottest thing in in the game that need to recreate. No. To hack here, to no. hack there, to hack here, to push a button. Yeah, and, and then, then you're going to go to really Ubisoft. Then do it again. You're really? going to go to that building and steal a social security number, and then you're going to go to that building and steal a social security number, and then you got to travel to the next town. To steal if they have my granny patrol, you maybe. No, we know maybe. starring. So Sophie Wilde, the Australian actress from Talk to Me, is going to star. Uh, it's going to be directed by French director uh, <sighs> Matthew Turi, Get and the screenplay will be here. done by Christy LeBlanc. <sighs> Um, so Turi previously did horror movie Hostile. I don't, I've never seen it. Screenwriter LeBlanc's major credit was Netflix sci-fi horror drama uh, called Oxygen. I didn't see it. 
And uh, it's coming via New Regency, the same folks who helped Assassin's Creed movie uh, get made. And everyone knows how much that movie was amazing. Michael was amazing. Apparently, $240 million box office. Uh, grossed $54 million in the United States and $186 million in other territories worldwide mm-hmm. for 240 against a production budget of 125 So moderate success yeah. helped by mainly overseas. Um, great. But to us, the film was boring. It was. It wasn't really a good Assassin's Creed film. I mean, we all love Michael Fassbender, yes. but I, he can really Ubisoft of all stuff. your franchises, this is the one you're gonna choose. I mean, he's correct. He knows when to strike. Yeah, Ubisoft. I guess other people are handling the Tom pulse. Clancy stuff better than you. Uh, you know, so yeah. you don't want to touch that. What else? Far Cry. I mean, uh, you know, the guy that's like uh, doing the same thing over and over mm-hmm. is uh, crazy. He is the actual actor that they base the character on. He can do a far cry. I'd be way more interested in that over Watch Dogs. Yeah. What else? What's another one? What's an Ubisoft property that could use a movie? Skull and Bones. Hey, actually... If they didn't fuck up on Skull and Bones, it would be nice to have a competing pirate film, right? Yeah, because no one wants to do any of the rum drinking or anything else. I want to see someone who is not Johnny Depp pick coconuts. In the harvest, but when you get there an hour later, you find out the coconuts are gone. Yeah. (laughs) Who the fuck is here? (laughs) They already did Prince of Persia, Mm -hmm. and that 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 also didn't turn turn out too well. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've been through them all. Uh, a pirate film would be cool to go against uh, a Disney's uh, Caribbean. The For Honor? Beyond Good and Evil 2 would <laughs> be interesting. Even. But I mean, if that's... that game ever could, the movie would come out before the game. Yeah. yeah. It's have them come out exactly at the same time. Incredible. Just dance movie. <laughs> no. Take it no. to the streets. It's like, like yeah, it's they like made that. A, they made all those movies already. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, it's already brought it. I am not excited for the Watch Dogs IP mm, in any way. Me neither. Uh, let me see a Ghost Recon film. Hell, I'd even prefer a Division <gasps> film. Over. Legendary Fishing. The Division movie would be an hour and a half of shooting the same dude. <laughs> over and over, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it takes several magazines to bring down. <laughs> yeah. All right, well. Okay. Uh, Screw it. Moving on. Temtem was a game that came out a couple years back, a little, little while back, and it was like the Pokemon clone. It was like the first. Yeah, I had to oh, yeah. Google it. I was like, oh, I remember that. Yeah, and so everyone's like, oh, this game's not going to do anything because it just simply cloned kind of Pokemon. It didn't quite do what Pal World did, which was, again, the, the biggest success, fire. success story in the yes. video game history in a long time. Um, but what had happened with Temtem is not a lot of people were playing it, and so they started to milk the people that were playing it. Ooh. Massive That's exactly what you want to do, right? Yes, Take no. care of those people. Yeah, yeah. Milk <laughs> those whales. Um, milk and, their titties. Uh, and apparently it's not working for them, and they, they want to get people back. So we under, they, what they said, we understand the monetization system on Temtem was deemed out of place for a lot of players, with our game not following the traditional rules of a live service game. Yeah, fuck you. And so they were going to completely cut them out. Um, I, I think it's probably too little, too late. There's other things out there if you're looking for a pokemon clone i think there, there are other ones and you kind of I go, it's good that a company realizes that they're being fucking idiots and they're yeah. reversing their decision but it shouldn't have happened in the first place and we warn against these kinds of things and your audience sometimes doesn't come back because you pissed them off well and they've already milked so. the whales and they're not giving the money back right so, so we see this a lot blizzard does something like this mm-hmm. where they release a 500 dollar uh, you know you know a giant pack mm-hmm. valorant does the same a massive pack and the whales just buy it because they don't care they just want the thing they got a lot of money and then what they do is then they go oh we're sorry we heard that it's yeah. too expensive but we're not giving the whales their money back we got that money mm-hmm. and so we'll lower it for all of you peasants that, that, yeah. that we we actually don't care, as, you know, as much about. So it's like I don't have any. I don't. I'm great. No, but I still no. don't think that this thing. Should... Still bad tactic. Uh, Whatever. Not yeah. playing it. <laughs> uh, speaking of games that I'm not playing, Overwatch Two is getting. Well, Joe got away with not playing a game. It was Fortnite. He was supposed to play the, the, the Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. We're busy and that it week. Came, and it the... came in under our radar. One of our friends kept telling us about it, but we're like, oh man, we were like really busy doing something else. 
And so you got away with that one, Joe. Yeah, I, you know, I, it made me want to. Joe promised that he was going to play Did Ninja he promise? Turtles. Uh-huh. Apparently it was on one of our news shows. One of our people. So, but Maybe I, I don't think you can it. still buy it. Comments, I'm Maybe going to I get it. I'm going to look at the comments in this video. Can you still buy the Ninja Turtle skins? Yeah, because I want to play Michelangelo with a machine gun. The, you know, the, what I've always wanted to do. Yeah. So. Shit, man. Yeah. Uh, well, Overwatch 2 is getting a new collaboration. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, you know, property that I absolutely love. Actually, I went to a Cowboy Bebop yes. live show um, last week. It was incredible. It was. Let me, let me what do you mean, mean live show? What is it? What did they do? The jazz. anime? They recreate the anime? You know, it's a big jazz. It's a big band, like oh, the Bebop band. band. So, like, massive yes. brass section. It was, it was incredible. Um, yeah. So, you know, if it comes to your town, you should definitely check it out. Um, but the Bebop, ba uh, Cowboy Bebop is coming to Overwatch. I don't give a shit. But they it was what? Six, they, Overwatch. Overwatch, yeah. Oh, weird yeah. crossover. Okay. Yeah, you want to play uh, Cassidy? Well, is, is going to get a Spike Spiegel skin. Uh, Faye Valentine will be on Ash. Jet will be on Mauga. Um, wow, this is one uh, skin combination that would uh, that is, is it purpose built you? for <laughs> Alex. Oh yeah, but I hate Overwatch. So you're not going to play it? No, nope. under no oh. circumstances. No, no. <laughs> not even. Not even a hyper niche uh, uh, crossover can get Alex to come. No, in. no, ab absolutely not. And then, the, you know, there's going to be one free unlockable skin, but all of these are going to be, you know, you know, paid skin. So I'm not interested in giving them money. So, uh, mm -hmm. but if you are, this mm -hmm. is something you could be interested yeah. in. Like, people are going to start following the Fortnite formula because the Fortnite formula works. Yes. They give the fans exactly what they want. Massive, you know, they gave OJ his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Even though he ignored them, you got <laughs> Superman, and so it's like they're giving these people kind of what and they Dragon want. Ball Z. Yeah, how did you do it? Uh, 40k. I mean, Call of Duty. It's gonna get me with 40k. When is that coming out? It's like, sometime in March. This yeah. month. Yeah, that's all we know. Right? So <laughs> they're they're trying to follow the same model, making sure that people actually have stuff that they you know they want, not just I'm gonna turn your character orange, give me nine dollars, yeah. yeah. which is the Apex Legends um, model. So probably gonna see more of these these licensed things. But I'm still not interested in Overwatch. Uh, Activision, 600 Activision QA workers just formed the biggest video game union in the United States. Um, you know, I hope this really works hey, out for them. It's about Look time they that. needed that, but it's going to be a Look. very big uphill battle. Yeah, yeah they, I mean, I think the games industry does need unions yes. because this is an industry that, that churns through... Um, you know, people more than shit a lot of other industries that I know of. And especially in, in the QA, like you, you don't have a life. You, you essentially are less than a peon. You know, you don't get paid vacations. You know, it's just all on contract work and you don't really work for Activision proper and all these other things. They do all these tricks to keep you outside, to make yeah. it very easy to, to drop you in an instant. And that sucks. And games are always better when you have a Q, good Q&A department because uh, instead of Joe figuring out all of your bugs, <laughs> those guys can I'll figure out him. all your I bugs. Will find Joe will probably still find them after that team is done. But to be fair, uh, you know, we need to treat our game developers better because they are basically making, you know, these games that we all freaking love. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, this is a bigger industry than the film industry. And the film industry has massive protections on all sorts of their workers, yeah. you know, their grips and everything. And there's all these regulations that, that keep that thing going. Um, and I think it's a good thing. And uh, so good luck to uh, that group over there at Activision, Activision. Mm -hmm. especially at these bigger companies. Obviously, mm -hmm. when you're a small company, you don't really need, you know, that. Yeah. And, but these bigger companies, we're talking EA, Activision, 2, 2K or Take Two that make gross billions and millions of dollars basically taking advantage of gamers yeah. uh, with small microtransactions and, and live service bullshit. Uh, the least they can do is pay their employees. And that's one of the uh, news stories that I wanted to get to. Capcom. Capcom, uh, I'll have to look it up here. Capcom pays their employees. Yeah, it's a 5 to 28% increase. That's yeah. what it was. It yeah. was... Um, yeah, it's for people that the graduate. Good guy Capcom. 
And when you make your developers happy like that and and, and give them environment in which they feel like they yeah. can succeed, they will make better games. Yeah. I promise you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 4% has been the standard yearly raise, so it's like, I don't want to... Capcom's fine. You know, I think that, you know, it's a good idea. It's good that they're taking care of their employees. They are making healthy money. They invest in its people. Yeah, Go ahead, what but they don't, they don't want to They don't want to suffer the brain drain, and they are just barely keeping up with industry standards. And that's an amazing thing for Capcom, and I'm glad they're doing it because other companies aren't doing it, but I don't want to, you know, give them a medal just yet. Um, I do. When, when other companies are letting people go and firing people, this is a 27.7 increase over, uh, and it's in investing its people. And when the uh, when the company itself is saying, hey, we're focused on strengthening our capabilities within development and technology, creating world-class quality games in order to enhance sustainable corporate value, um, they're looking to sustain their corporate value by investing in their own people, whereas EA and Activision look to sustain their corporate value by dropping single-player AAA games and, and, and big experiences that are, you know, and, and go for the mobile and go for the live, live service services. and then the microtransactions. Fuck that. So yeah. I like the fact that, you know, they put out these statements. Driven by its philosophy of being a creator of entertainment culture that stimulates your senses, Capcom will work to address the issues facing our society while aiming to improve its corporate value and establishing a relationship of trust with its employees. So, cool. Yeah. Yeah, fire. Don't, don't fire anybody right after that. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. And so like, Massively, I was like, fuck. Yeah. They're, they're not... They're not... In a, in a situation where they've got so much bloat. They're, they're working on, you know, the Resident Evil team is working hard remaking the Remix. games. Remaking the Remix. games that they've already remade. Yeah. 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 So, uh, like you said, the, at the it's a 5% raise that their uh, existing employees are getting. And then uh, any new hires, they're raising the, the starting. Um, yeah, we'll rise to uh, 3,000 yen, which is like 2,000 something, a 27% yeah. uh, percent increase over previous new hire one. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, Microsoft entered this agreement with the CWA when they acquired Activision Blizzard, kind of paving the way. Again, not good guy Microsoft. They're just like, hey, you know, unions happen. Yeah. You know, they didn't want to be anti-union when they purchased the company. So, this kind of paved the way for this this massive one to take place. Unf- I don't want to say unfortunately, but look, it's in QA. Uh, and I, I grew up with people who worked in Blizzard QA, and they got mm-hmm. chewed up yep. worse than any yep. other place. And so it's like, I don't, I hope this does well for them, but yeah. I just I, don't I, know. And I hate that, you know, usually uh, unions uh, get um, thrown into the political landscape, and you have some people that just believe unions are like the worst thing ever, and they've been told that they're the worst thing ever. Yeah, they kind of built the One side uh, of the political spectrum believes that unions are, are a bad thing. And I always, I'm always wondering why. Tell me why. And well, I guess you, some, they say, oh, well, unions can get out of control and they'll demand things that they don't deserve. Corporate culture has like never that. done that. But who's going to make that argument? Who's going to make that argument? There's going to be corporate commander, obviously, in order to say we don't need unions at all. And guess what's been happening over the past decades? We don't need unions at all is what corporate commander would tell you. It's bad. But I I wish them the best of luck. Fuck Activision and Blizzard's, you know, normal standing on all this stuff. Uh, in good news, uh, I think. Well, I mean, this, I think this is good news. Multiverses is getting a re-release date set for May of this year, just in two months. Um, and so it's coming out May twenty eighth. Uh, it kind of it, yeah. it disappeared. Yes. It kind of released. It was really pop, immensely popular for a short period of time. It had all of the foundation stuff uh, down. Right, the the combat was good. I mean, the gameplay in their game was good. The things they didn't have was updates and. Uh, skins and yeah. I mean this is a free to play game yeah, so like, man, it took like I wanted to spend money and then it took them so many months without the skin I was like all right fuck it I'm going to go on. back behind the curtain yeah yeah and they wanted to re-release they wanted to release new characters but they really didn't have the team in place to like do these quick updates with balancing and they said that that was like one of the biggest problems and so they just took oh. the game away they just said that okay that nope that was just a beta because okay. they always labeled it as a beta mm-hmm. but now it's I coming I almost thought that they did release a bunch of new characters and I was kind of surprised by the amount of characters maybe it's stuff that they already had developed yeah. and they were like oh to keep this pace we don't have what we need to keep yeah I don't know what the inference like what they didn't have weird but it Uh, it seems like it's relaunching when Uh, May 28th of this year 
So it seemed like a guaranteed hit for WB, and mm-hmm. I don't know why they took it. I mean, you could easily have just hired 10 people. Yeah, I like that game uh, way better than the Nick Brawl one, the yeah. Nickelodeon. So mm-hmm. May 28th, we have May 13th, Homeworld 3, May 21st, Hellblade 2. Those are the only two big ones ar- around that. that. One, Hellblade. Yeah. Uh, so it could work, but honestly, my hype is gone. Yeah. Like, I don't really care. Like, I'm not even... I'm not even going to type it down. <laughs> I will type it down. I got to play my boy Soups. What am I talking about? But I do think a little bit it's of the, the best luster. best Superman game we have in... now, right? Don't jump ahead, Joe. <laughs> May what? 28th. Okay. Just saying. God damn it. It's facts. true. Like it's uh, facts, they actually though. did my boy justice, and I was kicking ass. Yeah, with him. it was a fun you know, game we to play good. with. We were good. We were good. Team. Did it do him justice? I mean, he didn't laser anyone to death, and he, you know, he would have killed everyone in yeah, that game immediately. But it was good. Yeah, he was in it. It wasn't a stupid shark in his costume. So <laughs> multiverse. Uh, Warner Brothers. I mean, all everything we're gonna be talking about now is Warner Brothers stuff. So Warner Brothers is gonna be shutting down Rooster Teeth. They're gonna be laying off 150 Whoa. employees. Um, that is crazy. That was a industry legend and tie-in when I was getting into YouTube. You know, they used to have I'm, little conventions here too. Several downtown. people that worked there. Um, yeah, uh, over here in Austin, mm-hmm. there were some guys I had conversations with the, the CEO. They were, you know, maybe joining or whatever. But I just wanted to do my my own thing. Um, I guess I'm I'm glad I I stayed independent. I don't know if these people are losing their jobs and All of them. I'm yeah. sure. Fuck, man. Well, I'm sure they uh, some of them have shows right that they could just continue the, on their own. The podcast is going to continue. So. Wonder Brothers is looking to sell it, but like the the Rooster Teeth podcast is looking. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know they this is what Jordan Levin, the CEO, says. Um, he says challenges facing digital media resulting from fundamental shifts in consumer behavior and monetization across platforms advertising and patronage is kind of the reason ultimately and this is this is something that warner brothers said um rooster teeth had been running at a loss for at least 10 years they just weren't making so like this is something that you know it sucks but i was yeah they bought them out i guess for their potential or they were one of the bigger ones in the spot and then it it just never made them money yeah and so wb is like well and they're a corporate so they don't understand like well it's a loss leader. We're creating content and bringing eyeballs to you. They're like, I no, I don't yeah. give a fuck about that. It's I been too be long. Else. It's been yeah. a decade. The yeah. Buddy, the buddies I had that played magic that worked there had nothing, nothing at all good to say about the people who managed the, their offices. Yeah. So there's zero. They're like, they're, actually, they're probably, they don't work there anymore, but they're probably thrilled that this is happening. Yeah. There's a like, lot of, ah, the, or whatever. Yeah, they're, well, they're, a lot of the managed channel networks, you know, were like, fuck, like, you know, Machinima was trying to like implement like the stupidest fucking shit. Like when I tried to work with them, like you had to submit your videos to them and then the percentage of this and that. And I was like, what the fuck? No. Yeah. So, but that's that's a slightly different than Rooster Teeth, but you well, know, they, they kind were, of in the same. They were realm. bought by Full Screen, which mm-hmm. was a media network in 2014. Yeah. And then when Full Screen got bought, which by one was bought? Full Screen. No, which Full Screen bought who? Uh, got bought by WB. Got bought by WB. And that's actually how Rooster Teeth got indirectly acquired. Okay. You know, I don't mm-hmm. know if that was something that they looked to. Yeah, but uh, manage the days of the managed channel networks, where if you're a YouTuber and you wanted to be successful, you would go with one of these big companies because these big companies would have friends that worked at YouTube that would give you the YouTube yeah. partnership. Those days are long gone. Well, YouTube uh, killed them. I mean, yeah. purposefully. They're yeah. like, why would I let you exist and be a middleman when I can just yeah. take all of your money and I have all of them? Well, <laughs> it was because YouTube yeah. was really scared yeah. of legal action yeah. on all of these different things. And then as YouTube worked it out, then they started going to the directors more uh, directly. Yeah. And and these these conglomerate companies that... that put a bunch of shows together and a bunch of people together started, you know, losing money. And yeah. Doing poor. But if you, you can still watch uh, red versus blue, I mean, internet, you know, that, that's, that's classic stuff right there. So. Yeah. I mean, that's very internet. influential for, for forever. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, more Warner, Warner Brothers stuff. They're going to be removing adult swim published games. Um, so the developers said that the game ownership could not be transferred back to the original developers due to logistical and resource constraints. So you bought them. Uh, <laughs> the developers have all said it takes three clicks, and you could just click the button three times, and I'll just remove Adult Swim from everything in the game, and that way I don't lose my wish list and my fan, like the 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 ratings and and all of the other things. And W's like no, um, and so no. um, not gonna. Die. It's tough. 
Three three clicks is a lot of clicks. You know how many more clicks than two it is? It's like fifty percent more clicks. More. It's a lot. <laughs> so yeah. Cool. Great, good on you, WB. Nice. Uh, and WB has also said um, that the AAA in- industry is volatile, and they really want to focus on live service <laughs> and mobile free-to-play games, um, where you know because they want to focus. Are you fucking stupid? Did they not learn from the first mistake? Did you not learn well, anything from Suicide the most Squad? Recent, oh, yeah, we we're gonna the double recent. down. Let's double down. Let's make another Suicide Squad. That has 250 player, 250 set, 255 players on Friday, March 1st. <laughs> 263. Right now they have uh, my fucking 541. Oh, Whoa. it's slightly going up because the up, the update is coming with Jokers. I guess people are trying to get back. That's oh. not Joker. So I'm curious how how high it will reach when Joker releases. A thousand. You think the a 2, thousand? thousand? Okay, so let's make some predictions. Joe thinks a thousand. I think at least two thousand people. Two thousand? Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give it some thought before I give. Oh, we're really price, we're on get... Price is Right rules though. You, you know. thousand one. <laughs> it's a free update, so it Bob. should bring players back. Don't, there's no monetary restriction if it doesn't bring back a bunch more people. At I, least fifty per, at least twenty five percent of the thirteen thousand that originally it peaked at, only thirteen thousand on Steam. Oh, yeah. My God. Okay, well, like again, yes, it's a new character. So let me let me just remind people: Power World was at what fourteen some several million, million, yeah, million people simultaneously, and and motherfucking Hell Divers is like five hundred thousand and. The peak for Suicide Squad is is thirteen thousand. So let's double down on live service games. Now, to be fair, that was the initial people's reaction to it. Yeah, it's but not if exactly you read said. into it, what they're saying is, we this is volatile. Triple A games are volatile, and they consider Suicide Squad a triple A live service game. Why they say, well, we're going to go back and make more mobile and live service games. They mean the mobile cheap-ass live service game. That one that's already making them millions of dollars. Yeah, let me read you some of the, the – we'll start slow and we'll start – like, let me, let me know if you think that this is smart. No. Uh, he says, we see the world and whether it be VR devices, the Vision Pro, the virtual world, who knows exactly how it evolves. But certainly those types of platforms are going to increase in scale and adoption. Uh, and having oh, 11 own studios, <laughs> we're not just publisher of games, but actually developer. And we think that's an asset for us. So he, you know, he's thinking VR, mm. which is taking <laughs> off right now. Just ask God PlayStation. damn, boy, you need to get in that while it's hot. Yeah. When um, was it hot? It was hot when we went to the mall, John. You remember when we went to the mall? And there was the we VR. We got Half Life Alex. You could play for five minutes before that you're was like, great. I feel, yeah. I feel bad. Uh, he says that WB's uh, bi- games business to date has been driven by four separate franchises. Okay, four separate. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, DC Universe, and yeah. Game of Thrones. DC Universe, the game that's been out for like two decades? Well, and the DC. Oh, okay, the okay, okay. DC Sorry, Universe, the yeah. DC Universe MMO game, yeah, is yeah, yeah. what I was thinking. What's, okay. what's the last one, Game of Thrones? I don't, I don't fucking know. What? what Game of Thrones? Did yeah, he say Game of Thrones? Game, game of Thrones. Thrones. That has like some of the worst games ever, and that came out a long time ago. Where's the latest? Oh, I know one. Which one? Multiverses? Mobile. Mobile. There's a Game of Thrones oh. mobile. I'm sure it makes dirty money, and it's one of the worst examples of those kinds of piece of shit. Oh, fucking it's a clicker. Clicker, yeah. yeah. So the challenge we've had is our business historically, and he's referring to in games, has been very AAA console based. That's a great business when you have a hit like Harry Potter. It makes the, the the year look amazing. And when you don't have a release, or unfortunately, we also have disappointments. We just released Suicide Squad this quarter, which was not as strong. Yeah, how about you Lives. make good fucking games? Yeah. If you were still doing Rocksteady, like where Rocksteady is fucking good, and, and you put out a hell, it just put a, I don't want Batman games, but if you put out another Batman game and Rocksteady, steady you would have done better yeah okay and you'd have been like wow this is not volatile this is consistent people wanted batman and we returned to rocksteady's roots i thought there was supposed to be like a ninja turtles game from rocksteady you remember the rumors of that that would have been well, fucking THQ's cool for yes, it's like it's on my one. most anticipated yes. list this year which one yes. the last yes. ronin 
Oh mm-hmm. shit! I'm not. Oh, I don't know any. I haven't seen any gameplay on that. No, no. it's just like a little trailer, yeah, candles, and black and white, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, but it's a fucking Rocksteady four-player Ninja Turtles would have been fucking cool. Yeah. But they probably would have made it into a live service too. Yeah, it would have been exactly. All you have to do is just take that skin of the Suicide Squad and then put it and on. give them guns. Well, see, but that's... the combat would be a lot better. No guns. The fucking uh, no guns. No, Alex. Guns. True, right? Because where would the loot come from? Yeah. I mean, I guess you could have purple katanas and legendary katanas and notorious katanas, but it wouldn't know, whatever really kid. work. No. But that's what I'm thinking. Like, it's that's what I'm saying. It didn't at, uh, work. A thousand, though, because like Joker's gonna come out. They're gonna play for like a couple hours. Oh, it's we're gonna same, play it. But it's the same we're gameplay. It's the same it. gameplay. You're gonna get bored. You're like, I'm I guess done I'll after move an the, hour or two. I wanted to do an extended types. review discussion for Suicide Squad, and we it's just kept pushing it. And I guess it's now it's. It's too late, but what we could do is we could save it for yeah. when Joker comes out See if it's and do an extended better. review discussion. Oh, God, <laughs> fuck. All right. Okay. Uh, the, the issue that we have here uh, and the, the, the problem with what he is saying is he is saying that the AAA games industry is volatile, mm-hmm. yeah. and that's not true. Because if, if you put out an amazing game, you're going to get amazing sales. That is how the industry has worked forever what is volatile is the people you have managing these <laughs> yeah. companies and making dumb fucking dumb decisions fucking decision. so when you have a team that spends a really long time and they're dedicated to make a harry potter game they put big you know quality in it and it comes out great and look and what when happened you, yeah and so the the issue <laughs> he's saying that the industry he's telling these investors because this is all towards investors he's lying he's saying basically. video games are volatile and it's definitely not our mismanagement he's because lying you cannot cast doubt on your own company of and course. what happened is wb and or uh the you know, Rocksteady's um, management fucked the game up so bad that they're going to lose their asses on it, and that's what you fucking deserve. Um, yeah. And then now that he you goes, you get what you fucking deserve. Yeah. <laughs> and that's WB joke. So they they were talking about expanding into mobile and multi-platform free-to-play games, and this is what he says would give us a much better and more consistent set of revenue. Um, fuck it, just get out make, of games altogether and go, to go to and, your uh, mobile sector. Get those people to gamble. I don't consider those games. They're clickers. Yeah. Go, go to your mobile sector. So rather than launching a one-and-done console game, how do we develop a game uh, around, for example, Hogwarts Legacy or Harry Potter that is a live service where people can come in and live and work and build and play in that world on an ongoing basis? So I'm, I'm sorry, Joe. I'm sorry, my man. It happened to my Superman. Did guess you, what's, did guess you what's gonna all, you gotta, guess what's gonna happen next? You're gonna have Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy Two live service, service, and Joe's gonna become Angry Joe. It's Angry Other Joe, Other Why? Angry Why Joe. Are you fucking up. The difference is you've gotten Perturbed really great Harry Joe. Potter games, and Superman has never gotten fucking. Because Harry Potter is his jam. Okay, Superman so. fans would do horrible things to you to just to be on the the. The same plane of Harry Potter games. Yeah, Are you I would. kidding? I like, would. Yeah. yeah. It's like, this is Filthy, so much disgusting fun. things. Uh, but yeah. Whose booty all do I got to play with? <laughs> yeah. A Superman game. I do it for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's well, just. <laughs> I uh, the rock steady super maybe. <laughs> How long I gotta play with your booty all? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, Please. <laughs> no, it ain't happening. I'll never get man. Well, I, I'll be old. This will turn into the angry grandpa show, and I'll still be asking for a motherfucking Superman game done right. Yeah. If you choose around it five years. Let's we'll see how the movie does. Maybe there's maybe maybe there's a small hope there, but I think it would turn into licensed garbage in a mobile game. <sighs> Problem. Yeah, I mean, so he's, he's talking about the, the note of the new gaming strategy still in an earlier stage. But I'm going to um, laugh, Joe, when that fucking Hogwarts Legacy 2 comes out and it betrays everything oh, that it's the gonna, first yeah. game did. Yeah, I mean, there's other things coming. Like, we know that the Quidditch game is coming sometime soon. Like, they've been doing beta tests for that. So there's a lot of other properties they could do that can really grind in the microtransactions and live service stuff. Yeah. Um, so sad. We'll play the Quidditch one. Uh, we'll so let sad. y'all know if I, I think that one was probably created before all this bullshit. So yeah, hopefully they didn't fuck with that. Uh, but I mean, this is their strategy, and uh, starting in 2025 through 2027 is when he thinks it's going to go in full force. But this is ultimately bad news. Yeah, it's bad news. It is. This yeah. is this means that from here on out, they're going to focus less on these major AAA Hogwarts legacy. You're style. fucking up. And then don't come crying to us when we said, hey, we told you so. I think WB Games is falling apart. Yeah. We've had news stories of them trying to shop around, get bought. Anybody want to buy us? 
I mean, and he says the core franchise is holding up his business is Mortal Kombat. That is starting to fall to the dark side yeah. with microtransactions. Hogwarts, Le uh, you know, you uh, Harry Potter is a recent success with Hogwarts Legacy. Fuck. And they're about to fuck that one up, as he motherfucking just said. <clears throat> and and these things, once if, if they didn't have these things, WB Games would dissolve. Yeah, it just means that the chances of you getting a fi finally getting a triple A Justice League or a triple A Superman, Superman game is yeah. just now we're going to the going away in almost entirely. And let's be honest, if, if the Superman first game comes out, well, for this year, I, it's I know live service. It's like an unthinkable <laughs> thing that the WB Games would lose the licenses and give them to other companies. But if they dissolve, if there is no WB Games. And other companies had to come in and make a Superman game. Maybe then I could have hope. Another company makes Hogwarts. Another company makes, but probably wouldn't happen. They would just, they would just stick around, dying the whole time, clinging on to pachinko machines and mobile game. The uh, like gamers are wrong. It's like services. nope, you. There was that are. Harry Potter AR game that was like Pokemon that you would yeah, go and find, yeah, but I think I'm they shut that one down because it wasn't making all of the money in the universe. So one of the reasons that he's looking at this, and when I'm, I'm worried <laughs> that we all might be incorrect that this is a bad decision. For the people he's speaking to, the investors, he's not speaking to gamers. He doesn't give a fuck about us. Yeah. We think you think it might be a bad decision for investors. No, I think it may not be a bad decision okay. for investors. And I think one of the reasons that he's looking into it is we got some major releases as far as some of these mobile companies. NetEase is one of the largest mobile game companies in the world, mainly based in China, but they have other stuff out here. Um, NetEase game revenue is up 9.4 percent over last year to 11.5 billion. In 2023, this is after they reported that they were going to have a much worse year than they thought they were going to, and that, that like so it's still up because they thought it would. They you know people were really hoping it was much bigger than that. Yeah. They make filthy fucking money because what people want to do is they want to be shitting at work and they want to be going <laughs> Expelliarmus, 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 and that is what they want from their fucking Hogwarts game. Because as much as people in our comments and us and like the people that we know are like, no, I want a triple A game. Whoever in your life is, you know, doing that and just tapping on their phone screen, they actually slap drive, them. They drive the market significantly I will slap more you. than we do. I will slap you. <laughs> so, you know, I want you to Respect. be right because I agree with you. I want AAA games. No, you're them. right. Uh, but, you're saying, oh, this is a good move for the company yeah, because they will make more money off that. It's like, sure, it's, I guess it's a good move for fucking greedy corporate assholes. Yeah. But I think it's going to be short term instead of long term and, unless... But Unless everybody's just going to continue playing these pieces of shit. Financial money. reports are quarterly and yearly, so it, the short term is all that they care about, right? Because right. they want, you know, they're like, how can we get my, make sure my golden parachute is as big as possible so mm. I want to retire as from whatever I get, you know, the biggest thing. So Fucking that's unfortunately what it is. So, um, all right. That's, that's, cool. that's well, the bad news I have here. We got that broken down, man. Uh, you had one about EA, right? <clears throat> Yeah, talking about, uh, you know, big greedy companies fucking up. Uh, EA is getting a fucking boner talking about AI, uh, the CEO. He says, it, you know, and then he starts talking about how three billion players uh, can create uh, EA games with it and they can make all the money off of your work <laughs> which is the the spirit of ai yep yeah uh let's see so let's see what he says um e wilson says uh, ceo wilson says ea is embracing uh, generative ai deeply that it's uh, in no small part uh, down to how big the games have gotten so he says the development cycle is very iterated irritated uh, uh, uh very irritated iterative and incredibly time consuming, which is why games are now taking six and seven years to build. That's true, right? As they've gotten deeper and deeper. So the first thing for us is how do we make it more efficient? How do we turn out games in one year and press our developers uh, into servitude and slavery so that we can make more money quicker and faster? What if they didn't have Well, one has an children. easy answer, apparently. AI. AI. About 60% of our development processes have high feasibility to be positively impacted by generative AI. Yeah. I'm paraphrasing, okay, in case I get in legal <laughs> trouble. You didn't actually say that. Let's leave. Some of those in there. Uh, but anyway, so we build a stadium in one of our sports games. That would typically take us six months. 
They don't. They, they don't, don't they reuse don't build them. it. They reuse them. You fucking it. dumb shit. If you're going to EA Tiburon and they're telling you, sir. It takes us six months for every stadium we build, and there's 32 stadiums. That's why uh, we need more money so that we can build these stadiums every year. You reuse the <laughs> same. No, we don't reuse anything. It's a brand new game, you got sir. Caught. Wilson, Somebody posted it you fucking the wrong dumb year. shit. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it takes us six months to build a stadium in one of our sports games. This past year, it took us six weeks. That's because they finally shared with you what their actual work process has been for the past 10 years. It's Anyway, it's not unnatural for us to believe that in the coming years, it will take us six days. That's well, yeah, what there's it gonna takes be, right now. There's going to be body horror in the stands. There's going to be that one guy with nine arms like cheering for the Washington baseball team. It's like, that's not even the right sport. And it's because, you know, I, I don't know if you've seen these AI images. It's like... Yeah. I, I, I don't know, man. If if your 700 and 900 employee uh, motherfucking Tiburon cannot make you a stadium in six days, that I mean, that's pretty... Okay, obviously not all 900 people work on the stadium. But anyway, that got the CEO giddy, and he reckons going from... I can't, I'm sorry. We're going to get men Can't get and from six months to FC make a stadium... Twice a year To now. six weeks, to six days. He says... Um, you could find a way to roll that around, roll that out across the country uh, in every aspect of our development. You could start cooking with gas. It's how we use generative AI to make us thirty percent more efficient as a company. But like in your barbecue, you want to, you want to do that. Yeah. I'm trying to get to the. Here he goes. Specifically, he wants an AI-driven. Uh, uh, d- uh, development and discusses a future in which three billion players around the world are set to creating personal content and expanding and enhancing the universe that we create as well as building and creating things that uh using ea's own ai tech all of a sudden we are the beneficiaries of platform economics that's a multi-billion dollar opportunity for us so what's what he actually doesn't realize is the more we get into this stupid shit, the closer we're gonna get to some teenager creating a sports game entirely out that of AI that can compete with, with and EA. It, and it, yeah, it's just like, well, you're stealing stealing your assets. Like that's what AR art is. They look at all of the most famous things we and then tweak they, it. They, well, so. sometimes they tweak the it. AI is savior of his company, yeah. and it is the destructor. And of it's his like, company. look, you you are an art company. Yeah. Like that, you are. It uh, AI is fucking artists pretty bad like mm-hmm. it's stealing all of their assets and it's gonna you're gonna be able to take of all that stuff and if it's like look you want to live by the sword yeah. you are going to die it's by funny the fucking that the sword. ceo yeah. is like embracing ai that works at electronic arts yeah. i thought they were already using ai remember the last they probably are all Joe. those faces the, the six-year-old football oh, yeah. players yeah <laughs> there's like, no the way <laughs> A computer is generating those faces. There's no way anybody handcrafted those faces no. in Madden to make 248 this when we bitched that there was only 10. So they said, fuck you, Angry Joe. Here's 248. And has a none of them <laughs> look like humans. Look like human no. beings. Well, they, so, I mean, what they did, and they even had a video where there's like, we just made these facial sliders with a cheekbone slider, an eyebrow slider, and then they hit the random number generator yep. 250 times, mm-hmm. save the presets, and go, exactly. fuck you, stop complaining. It's like, but those don't look like people. <laughs> Fuck you. Stop complaining. Yeah. I can't put on my helmet. My cheekbones are too high. Yeah. <laughs> it All looks right. so fucking uh, bad. Anyways, he's just basically saying um, how developers uh, should control AI and AI should n- not control Yeah, we, they don't want to pay developers because developers have families and need food and want to get into a union. And it's much easier for <gasps> them. to dare they have a life. Yeah, you don't get to do any of that stuff. So they just want to get out of all of the the tedium yeah and ai like, does not have a family or food needs or need for um anything yet. and we can treat them not as second yet. class citizens which <laughs> will begin <laughs> the uh a jutlerian uh jihad or the butlerian jihad will begin uh our, just after skynet simultaneously yeah. both of them will happen at once dunes ai Sha- 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 and Sha- terminators I can't wait. machines <laughs> Resistance and what other? What other resi- machine AI invasion? The the Gek from is a Gek from Mass Effect. They also invade at the same time. Can so. we throw in Scream? 
Or is it Scream? There's no AI invasion in Scream. Those little robots come out but and they then start we'll, being we'll like the dolls. We'll have to leave the Earth and go to Mars. But what people? if we dig too deep? <gasps> what is he talking about? Was it Screamers? Alex? You don't remember that movie? With well, the Screamers and Scream the screamers, are two completely sorry. different. I'm talking about not, yeah, not screamers. screamers. I love Screamers. screamers. Yeah. Uh, go check it out. It's a very <laughs> hidden sci-fi gem. And that's AJ film. That's not an OJ film. Don't I think like that, it. Yeah, I OJ likes it. it, but that's not an OJ film. Okay. <laughs> Not Give the credit thing. to me yeah. <laughs> for screaming and telling it's you about screaming. Yeah. I yeah. always said, like, if, we, if, 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 if there's Judgment Day, we'll have to leave to Mars and we'll just have to be careful not to dig too yeah, deep. Yeah, we have to go in the bunkers. It's like, oh, careful now. Careful. <laughs> All right, that's what I got. You got anything else? No. Okay. No, I'm just curious uh, if this world would be a better place if EA went bankrupt and we had a, a different company to replace them. Uh, uh, they're just going to be another piece of shit they taking may, the spot. I think our only hope with EA is they get regulated into <clears throat> something different. Because eventually, because mm-hmm. I mean, the, the EA Sports FC is mm-hmm. one of their two top earners, right? Yeah. And it's mainly popular in the EU. And I can see eventually the EU going, no, you can't have these horrible random gotcha packs. We're not allowing that shit here. And I don't think that's ever happening. I, I, I think it will always be there. Yeah, so like that is your only hope, and so I don't. Oh, think it's that's gonna, my only yeah. hope. Yeah, that's like your only hope is the EU, right? Because I'm doing it here. Get out. Yeah. Get that out. No, they're never letting that go. So EA, well, I mean, they might as well change their name to EA F, EA Sports Mutt FC. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking uh, mutt mode. Yeah. Yeah, mutt mode. The, instead of EA, it's M U T. So, mutt. That's what would happen. And on that depressing note, that's our show for today. No, uh, we have a part two for you. Stick around for part mm-hmm. two. Remember, uh, a way to not waste your money, our sponsor. Click the links down below. Just a couple. You get three free months. Uh, you need a VPN anyway. Money back guarantee. I mean, you know, we're talking it's about saving win-win. money. Yeah, like people are locking that's off the money. Netflix libraries now. Like, what's wrong with you? Look it up if you need a VPN, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. 